begins. PA is a local NGO with the aim to alleviate poverty among the poor people of the rural communities of Nepal. With more than 80% of the country's population living in rural areas and with 25% below the poverty line, the development of ecotourism might suppose a way to improve the social, economic and environmental benefit of our community. It will suppose a small source of income for the residents, from which a part will be invested in developing for the whole community. NepalRuralTourism.com is an initiative to promote rural tourism and homestay programme for rural poverty reduction. Tourists have the chance to live in Nepalese houses, receiving food and accommodation to experience local people's rich values, religions and traditions, among some of the most stunning landscapes on earth. It is a win-win situation since rural tourism offers tourists the opportunity to experience Nepal's culture, lifestyle and surroundings.
NepalRuralTourism.com main goal is to create new social and economic opportunities and offer an unique experience far from the general tourism. Stockholm Adventures is the activity company that took us canoeing in the Stockholm archipelago. Canoeing was both more enjoyable and wetter than I had expected. And what beautiful scenery! In the middle of the trip, we had a picnic on a small island and got to know the countryside a little bit better. Here in Archipelago we have 25,000 islands. That's the unique thing with Archipelago and it was created during the Ice Age 10, 11,000 years ago. The sounds you hear and the fresh air, it's really hard to believe that we are so close to the city. Next up was a bike tour through the most interesting parts of Stockholm City at a nice and easy tempo. It's a great way to get a close-up look at the city center. In the evening, we went on a safari, just 20 minutes from Stockholm on a nature reserve. You get to learn more about runestones, the Swedish cultural heritage, and some of the most captivating animals, like the elk. The first encounter was a little bit daunting. And then another one. And another one. Then we got to see a mother with its cows too. 
The moose we see is a female with two young and they are coming out in the fields now when it's getting dark.